All right, bow enjoyers. This video goes out to all four of you. Today, we are going to be talking about the Strident Whistle, going over why I think it's probably the best PvE legendary bow you can get. Obviously, it's no Trinity Ghoul. There are definitely better options from the exotic category for PvE content. But if you are looking for possibly bringing a Gallahorn or something else that's beefy in the exotic category or slot into something like Grandmasters, this is definitely going to be something that's going to be great for future seasons when the bow is back on the artifact for Grandmasters and other in-game activities. So it's worth farming one of these in preparation for the future because of how strong one trade is in particular, and that is incandescent. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and forge a god roll strident whistle. Now, if I understand bows correctly, I may not. Reload speed and draw time are what you invest in terms of building these. Reload speed is the rate at which you bring the arrow to the bow, and draw time is how quickly you pull the string back and release it, both of which affect the TTK and the speed and rate at which you basically let your arrows out. So if you do get a reload speed or a draw time masterwork, you're doing pretty good right off the bat. As for the bow string, best in slot for me is the elastic string. The quicker draw time is really going to help you get more DPS in turn, is going to make you more potent as a PvE clear option. So that is the way to go. If not that, flexible string and polymer are sizable alternatives. Personally, compact arrow is the only one that even stands out to me in terms of the arrow category, because again, reload speed is going to help us get that arrow to the bow quicker so we can fire it. And Archer's Tempo is the one that stands out. This is obviously a staple on so many bows for both PvP and PvE because Precision Shits, uh, oh, oh excuse me. <laughs> no, no, those, those have enough to talk about. Precision Hits affect the draw time and you can just get more arrows out quicker and quicker and quicker. As for the final slot, Incandescent really carries this. I would not even bother using a Legendary Bow in this game as I am not a fan of these things, but Incandescent is great. Uh, based on my testing, assuming this translates accurately from the Staccato, Incandescent was more potent than Dragonfly for me. It just happened to have better ad clear, which makes it arguably the best PvE ad clear option in the game. Even without the enhanced trait, even without Ember of Ashes and all of those things, it is going to generally do more DPS for you in terms of ad clear and AoE damage. And for that reason, even if you're using Arc or Void subclass, it is absolutely phenomenal. Plus, it synergizes with other people using solar, and you can start scorching and igniting things. So it is definitely the only reason why I would even consider using a bow. So this is the only legendary bow I would ever take into PvE, and it's all because of Incandescent. So for the bow enthusiast, if you are using a legendary bow in PvE content right now, this is better. Take this, farm for one, get one with Incandescent. There's alternative options for Archer's Tempo, Things like Perpetual, Ensemble, there's definitely some solid options right there and a lot of wiggle room. Incandescent entirely carries this thing. Trust me when I say it's going to be better for ad clear in your average activity than whatever else you're out there using, your under your skins or whatever else you favor. So get out there and get that. Furthermore, if you're trying to pursue your god roll and you are going to get out there and farm, remember if you do reset Zavala and you reset your Vanguard reputation, you could start getting these things to drop with additional slots on it so that you can further increase your chances of getting your god roll going forward after you have reset your rank. And that's just one thing to note. As you could tell, I'm not a big fan of bows. I don't know if you picked up on that or not. Just the thought of using one makes me soft. But if I got to be real with you, if we're talking about standard activities, staccato also rolls with the incandescent and because it's spammable, it's easier to use. I just think it's a better, more efficient and easier option if you are trying to get incandescent rolling. I just would not use it over staccato personally, but it's there for those that do enjoy bows and I wanted to throw that out into the world so you guys can look for this thing and prepare for whenever this thing is in the artifact for the next season perhaps, so you could take this thing into GMs and really knock this thing out when you can go ahead and stun with these yet again. So thanks for watching the video. Appreciate all the support. Welcome to all the new subscribers. We just passed 3,000. You guys absolutely rock for that. But if you are new here or you've been watching these videos and you haven't yet, consider subscribing. Take that bell so you don't miss anything else. Got those notifications on and I'll catch you with another video soon.